Hey, good morning, I'm back. I've been uh, sick for a while and then uh, working real hard, so I um, hadn't been out as much, but uh, it's early May. I'm working what amounts to the night shift tonight, so uh, taking most of the day time and exploring a new area. I'm in uh, Prince William Forest Park, um, which is uh, just south of Washington, D.C., off I-95, right there next to Quantico uh, Marine Corps Base. Um, never been here, but it's a big park. It's a National Park Service park. Um, I don't know if it's technically a national park, but it's, you know, one of the... It's fairly big for, say, a county or a state park. Um, 37 miles of trails back through here. Uh, and I'm going to do... I don't know, 12, 15 of them, if I can get the time. Uh, we'll see how things work out. But uh, like I say, just exploring. We'll see what there is to see. I'm just downhill from the visitor center. I've started out on the Laurel Trail, and I'm headed down to uh, South Valley, which uh, is going to follow a creek back up across some small waterfalls and get back into the interior of the park. We'll see how that works out. All right. Made it to South Valley, and this is a really cool bridge. A little cable suspension bridge with a wooden deck. And a beautiful mountain creek. Well, not mountain, but I'm not sure the name of it. I'll share it later. I should have guessed, this is the South Fork of Quantico Creek. Like, almost instantly, I went from this little verdant creek valley with the sound of the stream to this very dry looking pine barren kind of area reminiscent of coastal Carolina or southern Jersey. It's just amazing how quickly that changed. <laughs> Look at this. Used to be a pyrite mine here and this place looked like it looked like this as recently as 1994. Um, that's the creek running through the middle there. And now, reclaimed. That explains the Pine Barren look. And looks like aspens up in there. It's the new stuff growing back. All right, we've gotten to the end of South Valley and now entering North Valley. Up that away. We'll follow the creek for a while. We're back at the creek. Somewhere along in there, I'm guessing at the uh, North Creek or North Valley uh, Junction, um, somewhere out of sight, the two creeks came together. And now I'm on the North Fork. I'm going back upstream again, even though I've been going in the same direction. So I followed one to the confluence and now going back up the other. Nice laurel tunnels here along the creek. It'll all be blooming in about a month or so. And just like that, it's open again. I just hit the Quantico Falls Trail, continuing up the creek. Um, waterfall, just a few tenths of a mile up. I think, you know, part of the interest here, part of the reason the mines were here, is this area sits right on the fall line, which is basically the rock shelf where um, Piedmont becomes coastal plain and it's kind of mixed in here you get these sandy flat bottom lands and then you get these you know rock outcroppings that sort of you know reminiscent of the uplands and and so it you know it's quickly changing kind of back and forth through this transition zone it's kind of cool actually
Alright, so I've come out of one valley and have crossed, or I'm crossing over the ridge in between North and South Quantico Creeks. And up here on the top is Turkey Run Group uh, Campsite. And here's what that looks like. Picnic tables, fire ring, water. Um, not quite bear poles, but raccoon poles, I guess. And uh, the Turkey Run Education Center is right down the road here. Let's check that out. The Turkey Run Ed Center. There are bathrooms here, water here, drink machine. It's basically four buildings that look like this that uh, appear to have combination classroom, kitchen, bunk room in them. So not sure what they do here, but it looks like ranger training. All right, still making my way kind of southeast, southwest, excuse me. I'm on High Meadows Trail now, orange. But I wanted to point out this. This is part of a... Uh, permanent orienteering course that's managed by the Quantico Orienteering Club, which is, you know, right across the street, essentially. They're the sponsors of several of the meets I do in this area, but um, they sort of have a permanent set of numbered markers out through these woods and some maps that you can get and uh, practice. Good orienteering training with those without the, uh, without the competition. So what you get is a map that basically indicates some of these numbered stakes on a topo map and you set off cross country and try to find the right one so that was what it was it number 801 or something like that that's how you know you found the right one so good training for uh, terrain navigation terrain awareness it's kind of cool huckleberries starting to bloom come through here at the end of July and there'll be berries all over the place through here so even though I'm on something called High Meadows Trail there haven't been any meadows it's all um, all this uh, old hardwood a lot of beech, hickory, oak occasional walnut tree actually which is kind of cool um, so yeah no, no meadows um, there was one um, old farm site uh, not even a clearing, all of that's being overgrown too, but um, an old cemetery and you could tell where the, you know, it used to be a meadow, but, but that was it. So don't let the trail name fool you. I imagined going through grassland like I've seen in other similar parks, but nope, not here. Another thing I'll point out about this park, it's got its moments of quiet and I've tried to capture some of those with you know, the creek gurgling and the birds chirping and all of that. Lots of squirrels running around through the woods and I spooked a deer or two. Um, it's not very quiet. Uh, you know, you can imagine with Quantico right next door and we're maybe 20 miles, 30 miles outside of DC. So we've got airline traffic going into National, Reagan National Airport and uh, V-22s and helicopters flying into Quantico. And uh, at one point you could hear the gunnery and artillery range down at Quantico so you know if you're looking for absolute um, you know wilderness solitude you won't find it here but um, for the most part though uh, it's a really pretty park and uh, you know it's accessible there seems to be a lot of I won't say a lot of people here I've seen a handful but um, you know very well maintained and, and an easy proximity to uh, to an urban area so I'm sure a lot of people get out here for a little nature fix and it's good for that. Some of these rhododendrons are starting to bloom. Well, bud. They'll probably be blooming in a week or so. I've made it back to South Valley and I'm about four miles upstream of where I started I think. Sorry, something I just scared something in the bushes here. Um, so I'm back at this beautiful little creek, South Fork Quantico Creek, and uh, I'm going to make my way, I think the trail goes that way, make my way back downstream, but first I need to find a shady little spot to make some lunch and refuel, see what I can do there. This looks like a nice spot for lunch.
All right, that was a much needed break. Um, all I did there was doctor up something that's uh, a lot of people have by itself. I just took um, a regular pack of pasta alfredo, fettuccine alfredo, which is like a pasta sides or something, which like I say, a lot of backpackers just do that. But I added powdered milk to make it creamier. I added a little bit of extra fresh Parmesan, uh, added a pack of chicken, and I added some chopped up fresh broccoli. Um, you know, fresh vegetables will keep for a while. And, uh, you know, if you just need a small quantity, I've gone to supermarkets and grabbed stuff from the salad bar, you know, like a cup of broccoli. In this case, I grabbed one florette uh, at the Walmart and chopped it up this morning. I mean, um, just be careful because, you know, if you get chopped up stuff, that will rot and go bad a lot quicker. Like, say, a whole pepper will last, a chopped up pepper will not. Um, you know, broccoli's generally pretty good, mushrooms will do pretty well. You do have to be careful about it, but, you know, that kind of stuff and just being a little bit creative. Uh, for me, you know, it adds a lot of satisfaction to the meal. And uh, in this case, added protein in the chicken and just, you know, a little more filling, so. Tell you what, there are times this valley is steep enough that it's hard to remember that I'm not in the mountains. I feel uh, hemmed in. Part of it's the tall trees, it's sort of an illusion, but it's, uh, it's just nice back up in here. All right, gonna have to pick up the pace here running out of time to make my work obligation and I just heard thunder behind me. So, uh, yeah, I don't want to get afoul of either one of those problems. Well, you can probably see it's darker. I haven't heard thunder in a while, but it started to rain. It's not heavy yet, and I don't want to put a jacket on because it's hot enough already. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to wait it out and hope it's just a little shower. Don't want to commit to putting on all that stuff yet. All right, rain held off. Looks like I'm going to finish with about 10 minutes to spare on my target. Things are looking up. Um, looks like I'm gonna, it's gonna be about a 12 and a half mile loop, uh, before it's all said and done. Uh, GPS data is down below if you're interested or if you'd like to, uh, use it for your own reference and look at intermediate distances, that kind of thing. Um, great park. Um, like I mentioned, you know, it's not, you're never out of the sound of urbanness. In fact, I'm getting now back to the southeast corner where I can hear Interstate 95 again uh, in addition to all of the airplane traffic and whatnot but you know for all that it's still got a touch of wildness in fact I'm sure you can't hear it but there's a barred owl probably a half a mile that way that's calling and uh, you know I've seen lots of birds lots of squirrels a few deer um, so it's you know it's been very nice the woods are pretty um, and uh, they change up you know the creeks are beautiful uh, it's, it's just a nice spot, so I'll definitely come back and uh, maybe go a little deeper. I had to, because of the timing, I had to, you know, cut across. I was going to do the full perimeter, but I had to kind of cut that and only do about three quarters of it. So, um, great place. I would recommend it. Before I wrap up completely, let me say that, um, 
South Valley Trail of what I saw today is by far my favorite. Um, they're all very nice, all very maintained. But down in there, you know, a little less groomed, a little less uh, traveled, more rugged, more remote. Um, just feels a little wilder. Uh, and I really, really enjoyed that. So if that's what you're after, South Valley is, uh, is the one to go for. Prince William Forest Park. Uh, just outside Quantico. I guess technically it's Dumfries, Virginia. Check it out. See you later. And until next time, get out there. This is Flying Squirrel. So long. See ya.